Hi, I'm Mike Panaki. I'm here with Julio Petrovich, one of the product managers at NetAlly. And we're going to ask Julio a few questions about wireless site surveys, how you do them, why you do them, and how a couple of the different products compare with each other. Could you define what it means to do a site survey? I uh, sure can, Mike. So basically, a site survey, in its normal meaning, is the ability of collecting multiple data points at a site and gaining visibility on how the, for example, Wi-Fi network looks on that site. Now, are there different types of site surveys? There's the two basic ones, what's called an active or okay. passive survey. The active survey basically allows you to act like a client device. So you'll act, have an active connection to the okay. network. And while actively connected, you will measure coverage, noise, SNR, throughput, etc. on that network. And then on the other hand, you have the passive survey. So the active survey focuses on that network you connected to. The passive survey basically passively scans the air for basically everything in the area. Okay. So you'll see your network, but you can also see the neighbor's network. All right. Or any unauthorized networks, any hotspots in the area. So you get full visibility without having to connect to a specific network. So what would be an example of a predictive mm -hmm. survey? Yep, so that's a great question. So a predictive survey is a little different. All the survey types we mentioned a few moments ago are basically measured surveys. Okay. So you go out there and you measure what's really going on on the network. A predictive survey, as the name implies, allows you to predict how a Wi-Fi network would look like based on the environment. Okay. It's normally used for planning and designing. So you, let's say you have a building, you don't have a Wi-Fi network there, but you want to know how many access points you will need, where to place them, and how the network would look like if you install that, those new devices. So the predictive survey will allow you to, for example, add information about building materials. Okay. So walls, windows, doors, etc., elevator shafts, cubicles. Then it will also allow you to provide information about the type of access point that you want to use, or okay. the type of antenna. Then using that and a few other metrics that you can uh, specify, it will calculate or predict how the network will look like. It will also give recommendations on how many access points, where to place them. So if you can't go on site or you're just designing a new network, right? Uh, that's an easy way of gaining some visibility. Again, it's predicted though, so right. you may end up with something different after measuring. Best practice is first do a pre-site survey. Okay. So you go do a passive spectrum, see what's out there. Next step, you'll do a predicted or a predictive survey okay. to calculate how many access points, where to place them. Using the information on the pre-site survey, you can also adjust channels. Okay. And then after that, before you go and install the APs, and this is where it becomes more optional and it's more best practice than anything, if you have enough time, you could go with what's called an AP on a stick. Yep. It's just an AP on a pole, they call it stick. Right. But basically, you can go out there with this temporary AP, place it where the predicted survey recommended, Okay. and then do an actual active or uh -huh. passive survey of that okay. AP, and then compare if the results of the actual measurements match the prediction. Okay. If they do, you're good, you just move the AP on a stick to the next place where the planner recommended an AP and repeat. And okay. Basically, you just validate that the network or the design of the network uh, will work as planned before going ahead and throwing cables and installing everything. So something that you know, we've been hearing about mm -hmm. is AirMapper. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how does Air, what is AirMapper and mm -hmm. how is it different mm -hmm. than if I bought, if I had one of the Air Magnet tools mm -hmm. and I was using that? So AirMapper is one of our newest solutions. It's basically an Android app that will be included with some of our tools like the Etherscope NXG. And it allows you to perform a basic passive survey with the handheld device itself. What are the advantages of that when compared to, for example, Air Magnet? Well, one, no need to carry around a big laptop. Okay. Uh, no need for 
little Wi-Fi dongles that may or may not support the type of measurements you need because we right. depend on vendors to provide those. And no need to care around little uh, tether devices okay. or an access point in a purse and stuff like that. <laughs> so basically, the, the idea is to have something simple, one single device that allows you to gain full visibility. It is ruggedized, so it's designed to work everywhere. Okay. So if you're 30 feet up in a ladder uh, surveying in a warehouse because you want to see what the coverage is up in the racks up there, then and you drop it, hey, it still uh, will work. Meanwhile, if you drop your phone or your laptop or your telephone up there, you'll right. most surely will have to replace <laughs> it. So that's one of the advantages of, of bigger differences. Air Mapper, does that offer, does that make it any easier for people mm -hmm. to do that? Mm -hmm. That's a great question, and yes, it does. Basically, we design it to be simple. Okay. Like you mentioned, other tools, including the Air Magnet solutions, uh, require sometimes a fair amount of training right. to use. But with the Air Mapper, what we've done is that we simplify the user interface and the workflow, so it's a lot easier to use. So you can just go on site, uh, load your floor plan, and then just start walking and tapping on the screen. With the Etherscope, you have the ability to remotely control the unit. So let's say that you have a remote site where there's no IT personnel. Right. Uh, there's basically no one that knows anything about Wi-Fi at all, maybe a local manager on, on site. So you can send them an Etherscope, and have them on a, on a call, and remotely connect to a unit. And you just say, just guide him through a call and say, okay, go to this corner of the building here. And then you remotely control the unit and do all the tapping and tell him, okay, move there or move here. Think of the Etherscope as a data collector. Okay. You can upload that data to Link Live. Link Live, as you may remember, is our cloud-based solution. Basically, it's a management and data repository. Uh, solution and what we're doing on Link Live is that now not only can you upload normal test results or generate reports and so on, you will also be able to generate heat maps. Okay. So it will take the data points that you collected from the Etherscope, and it will generate the heat map or the graphical representation. It will allow also allow you to filter by SSID, uh, AP, uh, etc., BSSID, and so on. You'll have all the metrics in there, like single string heat maps, noise level heat maps, data rate heat maps, SNR, et cetera. And you can generate reports from there directly too. From a remote standpoint, I could take, mm -hmm. I could send it out to the remote mm -hmm. location. Mm -hmm. I could already have the, the floor plan loaded up on there. Mm -hmm. And then I remote in mm -hmm. and I'm watching to make sure they're doing it right yep. so I don't get it back or I don't get the diagram back and it's not right. Yep, yep. And I could even hit upload to Link Live myself through the remote interface. There you go. And now it's available on my web browser mm -hmm. so I can start going in and doing that analysis. Yep. Since Link Live, like you mentioned, is you just need a web browser to see it, there's no limitations on operating systems. So it's not like tied to Windows only or right. tied to Mac or iOS or Android. Anything with a browser will work for you. So think of it as a, hey, I need to do a quick survey. I need something simple. That's where Air Mapper with the Etherscope comes in. Okay. If you need more like the predicted surveys. Right. Or you need more, something more advanced like spectrum surveys. That's where Air Magnet comes in. Okay. Well, fantastic. That's that. I'm very excited to see <laughs> see it coming out and get a chance to work with it. Yeah, we are uh, too. <laughs> So that's, uh, I'd like to thank you, Julio, sure. for uh, taking the time. And hopefully you found this information useful on uh, the, you know, why we would do a Wi-Fi site survey, uh, the differences between the different surveys, the differences between Survey Pro and Air Mapper, and a little preview on uh, what Air Mapper is going to offer. So thank you very much. We'll see you in a future video.